One of the key questions in the 2010 Gulf oil spill will likely never be completely answered. Exactly how much oil surged into the sea? Estimates ranged in the early days of the spill, with the Coast Guard at first saying just 1,000 barrels a day were leaking and then raising that to 5,000. But on May 12, 2010, that number soared dramatically. The reason? A fluid dynamics expert at Purdue University got to see video of the ruptured well and saw that the numbers clearly were not adding up. Using a, a very simple analysis, a procedure, um, I was able to, to conclude that the, the flow rate of the oil was considerably higher than uh, previously estimated. BP and outside experts based the first estimates on the size of the oil slick on the surface. It's a long used technique for estimating a spill. The oil was being discharged from a deep water well, which is uh, almost a mile underneath the surface of the ocean. And as the oil rises from the bottom, from the seafloor where the well had broken, uh, to the surface, it decomposes or breaks up into small droplets. And the smaller the droplets are, the slower they come up. And in fact, at some size, they don't, they, don't, they don't all make it to the surface. But with video of the oil pouring from the broken blowout preventer, along with fluid dynamic science, Worley could calculate the rate of oil and gas flowing from the well, a number he put at around 70,000 barrels a day. To calculate this, he simply went to the video. What you see is clouds. Uh, you'll see uh, puffs or billows of fluid. In the fluid mechanics business, we call those turbulent coherent structures. Here, this is called the flange, and we can compare this to engineering drawings of the blowout preventer, which says that this flange is 43 inches in diameter. So now I have a, if I can measure this in pixels, I have a correlation from how many pixels across this is to real space, 43 inches. And that tells me then if I go up to the, the flow and I measure that a turbulent coherent structure moves uh, 100 pixels, that gives me a way to correlate that to how far it's moved in reality. Worley's estimates made headlines and led to an invitation to testify before Congress in May 2010. In the months following that testimony, Worley worked with other scientists, and the official Flow Rate Technical Group in May 2011 issued a final estimate. That estimate topped at around 62,000 barrels of oil per day, leaked from the well, declining to 53,000 barrels a day by the time the well was capped 87 days after the blowout. With those numbers, the scientific team estimates nearly 5 million barrels of oil spilled into the Gulf of Mexico. Worley has created a website showing more than 160 hours of video of the spill at oilspillhub.org.